Hello, welcome back. I've been asked to make some seating for one of these roundhouses and it's going to be a great project. The timber's fabulous, the design is my own with the client. I love it already and the client's over the moon. So the radius which is 2.75 metres is too long to just from one bench to the So I've screwed a piece of wood down here and it'll be somewhere there I think. So that's the radius sorted. It's going to be big. So I'm just going to get, just do roughly an inches, what's that, 15 inches to the back. So if that's the back wall there, the backrest might be there. So the seat might finish here and angle back to there so that the back was touching. See, got to think about that. So that's the, so if I go to, if that was 15 inches and I allow three inches for the back to fall away, 15 and a half inches. So if I set that up and I go, there's 15 and a half inches. But if I allow for the fall on the back, three inches, I can go, I'm, what I'm going to do, I think is, is, I'm going to go 18 inches and run a radius around 18 inches. I think I'm then going to put a few other um, radius there and I'm going to put a few other radius here as well so that on the pattern I've actually got different curvatures marked up that I might be able to transfer. I don't want to keep setting this up each time I want to do something. I just want to make one pattern that does everything. So there we go. Got all our lines, got our rads, got our ends. Sheet apply, radius is done. That's cool. That I'll fit in my car once I've cut it all out. And then we'll go and see where it's going. You'll like it. Good morning, timber delivery. Look at this, it's pretty cool. So, and I've got to carry it into the workshop and uh, we'll have a look at it in there. So the timber's all in here uh, and looking good, timber delivered. Saturday afternoon, time to go home. So the timber is now organised there and look at it, that's where it goes up, 3.7 metres. I've set up my radius again because I'm working out where the length of each bench comes now. And stupidly, I'd forgot to allow for the fact that the straight line from the pivot point over there to here is the straight line, is the center of this. So if I've marked, for example, if I just put a mark there, and then I put that there, and then put a mark there, this discrepancy is, well, the true line is in between those. And that's the true line for the radius from the centre to the outside point here. And I want these seats to be able to butt up against each other and at the end have a good um, connection with the next seat. Because the outside here, I've just agreed it with Lloyd, the outside of the seat will touch the wall and the backrest will probably come in here and come up there and also almost not but not quite touch the wall there um it's just so that i'm protecting the backrest from being knocked around because if the backrest was back here and the backrest touched the wall then you know there's a danger of the backrest breaking and whatever so 
I want that to, but also Lloyd wants the seats to almost be able to be fixed in place. So by having the seat connection to the wall is better for me. Anyhow, I've gone around this now. I've got to take that off. And that one I've just done, ignore that, because that's not one. But there's another one here at 1,040, another one there at 1,200. And it's the middle line I've got to go to in there. I've done it the other way around. But basically, here's my one mark. There were my two marks. I've got in the middle of that. That's the direct line. Um, anyway, I'm going to set that up. And then I'm going to show you something I'm doing with those. So hang on a bit and we'll show you what I'm doing with those. Because you'll, you'll like this. <laughs> thought I'd show you where I'm up to so this is the pattern that's one piece of timber that's the other piece of timber that's the third piece so those are basically three slats that make up the seating anyhow um, I've got to, I want to cut this pattern now into three parts one for each of the curvatures but it's already gone off I've already marked it up for the um, the different lengths of each of the different seats. Crikey, it's getting confusing. So now I'm going to get rid of some of these lines because some of these lines aren't useful now. They were useful to start with, but they're in the way now. Playing that off, get rid of all the lines, make sure all the lines are on here that need to be on, and then I'm going to show you something different. Something that's a bit... Well, I'll show you. You have to wait. <laughs> 